Hello everyone. This is CS Kirtana, your financial guide, joining from the beautiful city of Dubai. As I promised in the last video, I am here with an important update. This is related to a procedure or a requirement of claiming relief under double taxation avoidance agreement. Confused? I know, but don't worry. I am here to provide all necessary information, updates, interpretations, clarifications that you are looking for. To understand everything in detail, watch this video till the end. And if you are interested in more of such videos, please don't forget to share and subscribe this channel. NRI has income chargeable to tax in two countries or he ends up becoming tax resident in both the jurisdiction then tax liability for him arises in both the countries don't worry now you are not going to pay tax in both the countries if these two countries have signed something called DTAA or double taxation avoidance agreements so nobody is going to tax you twice in order to avoid double taxation on the same source of income these agreements are signed among the countries so what happens here if there is a DTAA then you can claim relief it may come in the form of tax credit means tax which has been already paid in one country is allowed as a credit or you can also request for lowering the rate of withholding tax or exemption etc as mentioned in the agreement in india if an nri wants to claim benefit under dtaa or double taxation avoidance agreements he has to file a form called 10f Section 90 clause 5 of Income Tax Act clearly states what are the documents which should be accompanied while filing Form 10F. So these are no PE or permanent establishment certificate or TRC, tax resident certificate, etc. You don't have to bother about it. But you have to understand filing 10F is mandatory while you are seeking any kind of relief under DTAA because the intention is to establish whether this NRI is a tax resident of another country or not. That's why 10F has to be filed. Earlier, in order to file this 10F, PAN was mandatory. Many of the NRIs who did not have any income which was chargeable to India or who never visited India did not have PAN. So in case of any other change in circumstances, if they became tax resident, it's quite possible that you are residing in Canada or you know Europe and you have come to India for some kind of job training purposes at that time what happens because of the residential stay you might become tax resident in India for that one year and you might not have come to India at all before that in this case if you didn't have pan earlier there was no possibility that you could have had any kind of relief under double taxation avoidance treatment why because you can't file 10f because there is no pan pan was mandatory for filing form 10f i hope this point is clear so now there is a good news cbdt or central board of direct tax has clearly stated that now if an nri is looking for filing form number 10f in order to avail the benefits under dta or double taxation avoidance treaty they can do so without obtaining pan how go and create an account in tax portal that's all no need to obtain pan isn't it a great news especially for some nris who never would have visited india and never had any kind of income which is chargeable to tax in india never probably they thought of obtaining pan but because of the long stay unplanned stay in india they ended up becoming tax resident for one financial year now they don't have to bother they can directly go and create an account in the tax portal and proceed to claim the relief under dta i'm so glad that cbdt started taking note of all this point of inconvenience, filling the loopholes existing in the system, correcting one by one because only with this little efforts, by making entire system procedures user friendly, increasing the convenience of a taxpayer, they can increase their revenue and make India tax compliant and developed country by 24 to 7. Do you agree with me? Comment below.